Where did today's customers turn for service? If you said the call center, you're missing half the picture. More and more often, customers are turning to the internet, to the cloud, to get their questions answered. They're turning to search engines like Google, or to social networks like Facebook and Twitter, where they can easily find experts. The Service Cloud is a new platform for modern customer service that finally lets companies join the conversation. It bridges the gap between the call center, customer self-service, and the social web. Let's take a look at how the Service Cloud helps you join the conversation on Facebook, home to hundreds of millions of users who are talking about the products and the services that they use every day. This is the story of a telecommunications company, Spin Telecom. Spin is using the Service Cloud to join customer conversations everywhere they take place. With homepage dashboards, they've got real-time visibility into those service metrics that matter, things like customer satisfaction and agent productivity. But they can also see all of the conversations that their customers are having across every channel. For example, here's a recent spike in Facebook conversations. So let's drill in. Here's one of Spin's customers, a man named Alex, who is having a problem getting his new phone to work with his Bluetooth headset. Well, he's done what many customers do today when they have a problem. He's turned to the cloud for help. In this case, he's gone to Facebook. Well, because the service cloud is connected to Facebook, Spin can now join the conversation. This is Alex's Facebook profile. We can see right here in his news feed that he's asked the Facebook community for help with his problem. Here's the community that Spin has built in Facebook using the Force.com platform. The hundreds of millions of Facebook users all have access to this community, and it looks like one of them, a woman named Amy, has a solution for Alex. Alex tries her advice, and it works, so he types a reply to thank her. And then he can vote on our answer to show the community that it's helpful. Well, because this conversation is taking place in the service cloud, Spin can actually join in. We can see Alex's reply and also the number of votes. But it gets better. These votes have kicked off some business logic. When enough people vote for an answer, it means that this piece of knowledge is worth sharing. And so Salesforce has automatically created a draft knowledge article. So Alex is happy that his question was answered, but Spin is the real winner. They can now share this knowledge with all of their customers across every channel, the contact center, the self-service community, the public website, or even with their business partners. That's the beauty of the service cloud. It helps connect customers and your business across every one of these channels. We've seen how the service cloud helps you connect to new web-based channels, but what about a customer who picks up the phone to call the contact center? Well, of course, that's part of the service cloud too. This is the agent console designed from the ground up to help keep service agents as productive as possible. With the capability to integrate to over 80 telephony systems, when a call comes in, as an agent, I get instant access to this customer's profile. I can see the complete service history, but also the bigger customer picture. So things like, are there any important open sales opportunities? How important is this account to my business? Well, my customer David is calling about the same problem we saw over on Facebook, getting his phone to work with his Bluetooth headset. I'll use the knowledge base to help me quickly find him the right answer. And we can see this is actually the same answer that we originally found on Facebook. It's now available right here to all of our service agents. So now with just a click, I can create a pre-formatted email with our solution to send out to the customer. I'll end the call. And when I'm done, everything is right here in the customer's history. That's fast, one and done service, and I'm on to the next case in my queue. I can take inquiries that come in from email, from online chat, or from our customer service website, like this case has. So why don't we head on over there and see what that experience looks like for a customer. The web is the first place that many customers turn to for service today. Well, Salesforce lets you deliver a great web service experience that lives up to the high expectations of today's customers. If I'm another customer that just can't get my headset working, I can log in right here to Spin Telecom's customer service portal. Here I can do things like log a new case or ticket, search the knowledge base, get help and training, and interact with other customers in ideas forums. So let's check out the knowledge base to see if I can get my headset figured out. Because Spin knows things about me, like what devices I have or what plan I'm on, the knowledge base can automatically suggest answers that are relevant to me. In fact, right here, it's suggesting an article before I even do a search. And sure enough, this is the same solution that we originally found on Facebook, but now it's available right here in the customer service portal for any one of Spin's customers to find. And it looks like there's also a link where I can check out some related information. Not only can I find a quick answer, but I can also learn more about the products that I use. I can vote on this, see what others think about it, or even see a preview of the document before I download it. 
Of course, one of the big reasons that customers turn to the web these days is to interact with their peers. Well, the Service Cloud lets you do just that with a tool called Ideas. This is a great place to turn to see what's on the mind of the customer community. It looks like others are in the same boat as me. We'd all like it to be easier to get our headsets working with our iPhones. I can join this conversation with some comments, or I can go ahead and vote for it to show my support. So now, as a customer, I feel better that I've got a place to provide this feedback, but Spin also benefits, because now they've got better insight into what really matters to their customer base. We've seen how the Service Cloud can help power your company's service website, but what if I were a customer having a problem getting my headset working, and I wasn't familiar with the website, what would I do? Well, like many people, I'd probably turn to Google. The Service Cloud can help you join the conversation with Google as well, making sure that your knowledge is available everywhere. I'll do a quick search for my phone and headset problem. And it looks like this result is from Spin Telecom. I've arrived at Spin's publicly available website. This site is powered by our Force.com sites technology, running on Salesforce.com servers and plugged into the data that's stored within Salesforce. We can see once again that the solution we originally found on Facebook is now available right here on the public web, where it can be indexed by Google, Yahoo, or any other search engine. Twitter has become one of the fastest growing social communities on the web, and you've likely seen some of the high profile news stories where companies have either successfully joined the conversation on Twitter or who have failed to engage when things went wrong. Well, Twitter is yet one more place where the service cloud helps you stay connected. Here's a customer who's decided that rather than calling the call center about his problem with his phone and his headset, he'd head over to his favorite web community, Twitter, and tweet about it. We can see that already, members of the community are chiming in with their thoughts and ideas. Well, with the service cloud, our company, Spin, can now be a part of this conversation. As an agent, I can search from right within Salesforce for what people are saying about the products that I service. And when I find something important, like this customer conversation, I can click Monitor to bring it right into Salesforce. Now, I can see in real time my customer's conversation, as well as all the responses from the Twitter community. So now I can search the knowledge base to see if there's anything I can do to help. And in just a click, I can send this solution out to the entire Twitter community. And of course, when we click on the link, we're taken to our force.com sites page that displays the same solution, once again, that we originally found on Facebook, now shared with everybody through Twitter. We've just taken a tour of the service cloud. We've seen how it brought our telecom spin into the conversation. We were able to join social conversations on Facebook, capture knowledge, and then share it everywhere with our business partners and in our contact center where we can handle conversations that come in through calls, email, or chat. We saw how the Service Cloud lets you deploy a great customer service portal, generate ideas communities, and even tap into Google searches. And finally, how you can even join the conversation in new social communities like Twitter. And the best part is, it all runs on the world's most trusted enterprise cloud computing platform, Force.com. It's no wonder that Salesforce.com is the leading cloud computing application among support organizations of all sizes.